All quiet, Jose. Thankfully, yes. Good. But we don't know for how long, so you best leave me to it. Keep your eyes open for any trouble. You got guard duty again? I like it. Well, I ain't gonna dissuade you from that. You know, sooner or later, you're gonna have to drop the Keen Act. Lanny, you couldn't protect a virgin in a monastery. <laughs> Shit. We'd be safer with Jack on guard than you. You see anything, Lenny? Shout out. Anything moves? You shout out, kid. Well, you don't need me distracting you. Not like you did with Micah and Strawberry. Jose on guard duty. God help us. Can't remember the last time I saw you standing that long. Look alive, Sean, you lazy bastard. That's a big gun for a little fella. Make sure you don't slip and blow your pecker off. Mind you, that would need to be one hell of a precision shot. Don't be like that, Arthur. Gotta help anyone tries to get past you. Look at you. You couldn't guard a wet hen, boy. Any trouble at all, Sean, you holler. Williamson on guard duty, God help us. You're about as sharp as a bag of socks. Hey, watch your mouth! Well, at least you still appear to be awake. Stay awake, Bill. Don't trip and shoot yourself in the head. I feel marginally less safe knowing you're on guard, Williamson. <laughs> Who better on guard than a drunk failed soldier? Williamson on guard. Devil help us all. It's a miracle you actually look awake. <laughs> First sign of trouble, Bill. Yeah, you'll shit yourself and shoot yourself in the foot. Just put the knife away. You ain't impressing no one. Or slip and do us all a favor. You're a real charmer today, ain't you? Everyone's bored of the tough act now. Are we millionaires yet, Mr. Strauss? Get your head out of that book, you sniveling little bean counter. We got a lot of trust riding on you, Strauss. I don't trust you with my money as far as I could throw you. How is my retirement looking, Mr. Strauss? You're a hard worker, Tilly. I love to see a pretty little girl working hard. You're doing good, Tilly. You're a born scrubber, Tilly. Finest whittler in all Ireland. Sean, you know what they say about fellers with little sticks. <laughs> Ah, uh, why don't you stab yourself in the eye with that? See how it feels. That stick looks about as sharp as you are. What a pitiful excuse for a man you've become, Reverend. At this point, Reverend, I'm closer to God than you. Come on, Reverend, you're better than this. You're a disgrace to your Lord, Reverend. Swanson, what are we going to do with you? When you're done with those, you can do mine. Maybe darn my socks, too. Just do us all a favor and get out of here. The lady doth protest too much, methinks. After that, you can shine my pecker. You're female enough. You're gonna rub the leather right off of those. You should have been in the army, not Bill. <laughs> Sometimes I think you're more woman than man. You'll be able to see your face in those. Are you all right, Jose? Don't worry about me. You don't sound too good. I'm all right. <clears throat> don't you cough on me, all right? Hell, I've seen weak old corpses with more life than you. Come on, cough is up a smile, old bird. Good work, Charles. I do more than anyone else around here. Keep at it, Charles. Don't want that fire going out. Hey, if you want to take over, don't let me stop you. I hope you never come after me with an axe. Oh, your head would hit the floor before you knew what had happened. That's... <laughs> good to know. Oh, look at the big, strong Indian. What a sight to behold. Beats sitting around. Why don't you take a rest? Stop trying so hard. Won't get done otherwise. That's a good clean cut, John. 
You clearly need to get some frustration out. Such a workhorse, ain't you, John? Dutch's little favorite. Good work, John. If it wasn't for you and me, that fire'd be out in a day. Pretending that's Abigail's head, aren't you? <laughs> that's it, Marston. Hate the log, not yourself. Always repairing things. Such a good boy. Desperate to impress. Go away. Leave the work to the men. If only you could fix your problems, Smith. Shut up. I'm not in the mood. Glad to see someone's working around here. Good to stay busy. Make sure it's tight. You know how Arthur drives. Looks good, John. Glad someone knows what they're doing around here. If only you could fix yourself, Marston. Make sure that's on tight. Don't you sabotage us again. Nice to see you doing some chores. What are you trying to do, brush the dirt off? You'll make some lady very happy one day, Bill. See, this is why even the whores turn you down. Nice to see a fella taking pride in his appearance. You might want to start with washing and try everything once. You're a disgusting excuse for a man, Bill. Were you raised by hogs, Williamson? You are one foul creature, Bill Williamson. Looking good, Bill. Can't you do that somewhere else? You're disgusting. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if you're even human, Williamson. This is why the ladies love you, Bill. Ooh, that coffee smells good. Hope that's good and strong. I could use a cup of that myself. I, uh, <clears throat> saw Uncle take a piss in that coffee pot earlier. Hope that burns your tongue? Shut you up for a while. Put the knife away, Micah. The tough act is wearing thin now. Just sharpened it. Are we supposed to be intimidated by that? If you're a good boy, I'll teach you how to use that when you grow up. Why don't you put that away? Everyone's laughing at you. Oh, beauty, ain't it? How you still got ten fingers is a miracle. You trying to be Micah playing with your knife like that? Nice knife you got there. Why don't you put the knife away? It's getting annoying now. Slip. Go on. Slip. Let me know when you want me to teach you some real knife tricks. Make it a good one today. Oh, I will. I'm joking, of course. Everything you make tastes of old boots. Anyway, didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm starting to think the horses eat better than we do around here. Looks like a good book there. Very enjoyable. Glad you're so relaxed, given what a mess you've gotten us into. How many times have you read that one now? Always learning, Dutch. It's time to take your head out of that damn book, get back to reality. Put the book down and deal with this situation, Dutch. Good book? I'm allowed to take a break, Arthur. Well, don't let me disturb you. Good book? I'm taking a moment, so don't you start. <laughs> I ain't starting. Go wake Uncle up if you're bored. So, you get to read while everyone else is off working. One rule for you, and another for the rest of us. It's either reading or robbing with you, ain't it? A fella can do both. At least you're good at reading. <laughs> I sure wish I could read like that at your age. At least someone around here's got a brain in his head. You keep at that, Lenny. Oh, stop pretending you can read. You're a smart kid, Lenny. You got the right idea. A man after Dutch's heart. Just put the book down. You ain't impressing no one. Are you an outlaw or a librarian? Put the goddamn book down. Only thing you need to learn... Shoot the other fella before he shoots you. Head full of knowledge ain't no use when your head's full of lead. At least you're reading it the right way up for once. Very funny. So why don't you put it down now and do some goddamn work? Put any more loans out? I'm working on it. I thought I saw you doing that excited little snake tongue again. Living in the swamp, <laughs> I guess we've sunk pretty low. Still, we're alive. 
I ain't been this far south and east, well, I don't think ever. Odd to think someone once built this fancy house and wanted to live here. For fun, you know what I mean? I don't know about you, but the swamp at night, it gives me the creeps. Living with reptiles and mud, you know, in some ways I feel right at home. This life thing? No one told me it'd be so hard. I ain't so good at it. John. A man who pulls out early, apart from the one time he should have. John Marston, a walking advertisement for parenting. As the saying goes, all work and no father makes Jack a dull boy. Saw you dancing with a girl. Had a mighty big Adam's apple. <laughs> Don't think I haven't noticed you slipping off with the other boys without me. Don't you think it's time you took me on one of these excursions of yours? I am feeling so honored to have been included in an Arthur Morgan posse. All this time we've been spending together, folk are gonna start thinking we like each other. Always busy. Somebody has to do it. Always trying to impress. You're keeping busy? Trying to. Best you stick to the chores. Leave the real work for the rest of us. Reading, Jack? Yes, Pa. Don't read too much. When you can read food onto the table, please let me know. It's good to have you here. Beats getting shot in San Denis. Oh, is that all it does? Of all the folks I could have run into... Hey, <laughs> you're a lucky man, John. <laughs> you were blessed. Blessed. Is that the word? Cursed, I think, is the word you were looking for. Can you believe this? I'm starting to. All ours, Abigail. Could be the biggest mistake of my life. We're making progress, aren't we? Every day it gets better. Mostly thanks to you. I thought I already had a child to look after. Well, you weren't doing so well with him, so God gave you a second chance. <laughs> Two children now. Yeah. This time around, there'll be a lot more discipline. How's the boy? He's Jack. <laughs> Takes after his mother. Having a home. That's good for him. This all to your liking, then? The ranch? No, of course not. It's a dump. Well, at the moment, at least. One time, you could say something nice. I'll keep working then, if only to please you. You make this place run, don't you? You think? Where would we be without you? I might run all the way to Blackwater. You should get into town sometime. Have some fun. Uh, I've had my fill of towns. Thanks, John. And I just gotta get sick of the sight of you, I guess. And have some fun here, why don't you? Hard at work, I see. I can't rest a moment without being disturbed. <sighs> no wonder I'm tired. You're tired from running your jaw all day. Rest then. But I expect hard work after. Ain't that clean yet? They take some cleaning, John. Jack should have done it. You're the only one who really cares. Uncle's actually shoveling some shit. Better stuff comes out of those horses' asses than your mouth most times, J.M. Is that right now? Okay. You're about to go head first into that, so look out. Good time for a rest? It's always a good time for a rest, J.M. <laughs> you know, I had a feeling you'd say that. I'm thinking about making this rest permanent. Can't Uncle carry that water? If we waited on Uncle, we'd all die of thirst. Can't argue with you there. Ragging on the old man's my job, okay? Here he comes, the water carrier. I got this whole damn place on my back. You know, ranch wouldn't run without me. I'd love you to go so I could find out. Is that right now? Just fill up that trough. Made any friends yet? I'm the youngest by a margin. 
It don't matter. You're smarter than your age. Can you make an effort, please? The ranch life suits you, Abigail. I guess. All kinds of irrational animals here. It's good to see you happy. How you like it here? I like it fine, sir. You better. You'll be fine. How you getting on with that hay? I'll be getting on better when the job's done. They ain't that heavy. <laughs> Grab yourself a drink after. How's your sore back? I'm not good. These hay bales are hell for my lumbago. I shouldn't have asked. Booting your backside will be even worse. You shoveling horse yet, Charles? It's better than listening to it. You're on the wrong farm, if that's what you think. I heard you say some dumb things in your youth. How's that horse looking? Real fine, John. It's a beauty. Thanks for looking after it. Just don't mess it up, okay? Good book? I've read it before. Then maybe you should put it down and do some work. Maybe it'll be different this time. Can't Jack do that? Jack's got his own chores. You coddle the boy. He likes to disappear like his father. Boy's got it easy. What's that you're reading? A book? I know it's a book. You know what? Fine. Don't sass me, boy. Don't you ever quit? I'll quit when we're done. Then you're never quitting. Seriously, Charles. Take a leaf out of Uncle's book for once. You're always working. There's always something to do. Don't forget who paid for this. I guess stuff's gotta get done. You could be working and you're reading. I do chores. Long as you're pulling your weight is all. What are you knitting? Oh, you'll see. Wish you was faster at it. Be nice to have someone new to knit for one day. Sweeping up, are you? Don't want mice. What would we do without you? It's annoying seeing you fuss like that. I miss you, boy. I, uh... Missed you too, Pa. Good to have you here. I hope this place is good for you. How you like it? I'll get used to it, I guess. You better. You read the ad for the damn place. That's good. We'll be happy here. Jack, my boy. You happy? I'm good, son. Never better. Make an effort, won't you? Jesus, Uncle, did you just fart? Or is that your natural smell? Foul creature. You trying to get me to fight or something? It's you again. Yep. Still the same old you. I keep checking and you don't change. Don't speak to me that way, John. Cheer up, Charles. It ain't all that bad. We're here together, ain't we? That's no way to speak to me. Be a better boy, Jack. Just be better. Better than whatever you are. I'll try and do better. Don't know why I tolerate you, old man. You are frankly intolerable. I must be a saint. What are you getting at, John? Don't you ever get bored of me? I know I would. Maybe you ought to get bored more easy. I don't deserve to be talked to like that. Lone Wolf. I think that Welshman could have had you. Maybe he threw that fight. You never were funny. I don't get you, boy. Just don't understand. You're a puzzle, all right. I'm sorry you feel like that. Jesus, Uncle. What's wrong with you? Actually, what's right with you, old man? Oh, you think that's clever, huh? This life, woman. It ain't that easy. No, ma'am, it ain't. Show me some respect. You could work a little harder, Charles. I'm joking, of course. Just keep it up. I'll forgive you that one. What's with you, son? Cheer up, all right? Laugh for once in your life, okay? Oh, I must be a disappointment to you. How long you think you got left, Uncle? 
Two years? Three? I'm keen to get started on your goodbye party. Hey, what did I do? What kind of people we become? We ain't the same folks who made Jack. We're barely the same that woke up this morning. John, that ain't appropriate. Who you think would win in a fight? You're big, but I might be quicker. Obviously, I'd try to catch you by surprise there. What's gotten into you? Looking after your mother? Are you looking after your mother? You owe that woman, and don't you forget it. I'm sure you're right. Uncle, you ever think about moving on? I hear Tahiti's nice. Hot down there. Hell's hot, too. Either would be good. So young and so bitter. How's the reading coming along? You got a lot of nerve, John Marston. Hey, it's an innocent question. You're defensive, you know that? You're too serious, Charles. Far too serious. Really, there ain't so much for us to worry about. I don't gotta be here, John. You know that. Jack? Damn it, Jack. Don't rile me. Noted, sir. You got everything you wanted, haven't you? I've given it to you, ain't I? Everyone was right about you. A bully. Just want some thanks sometime. Shit. Maybe those years alone took a toll on you, fella. Ain't got much in the way of affability no more. Or maybe you never did have. Maybe take a bath, John, and you won't be in such a bad mood. Can't change your parents, Jack. You're stuck with us. And we're stuck with you. Always me, ain't it, Pa? Just saw you and thought this was a hog farm, Uncle. Only hogs are clean. Probably better conversationalists, too. Ha <laughs> ha, you don't mean that. I went to Clemens Point the other day just to see it again. Brought it all flooding back. Even without the Greys and Braithwaites, I wouldn't say Rhodes has changed that much. I wonder how many of the others are still alive. I heard Swanson is a preacher in New York now. Good on him. That whore's gonna buck you right the hell off. Your equestrian skills are deplorable. Why don't you try going straight? Why are you riding all over the place? Christ, Arthur. Young Jack rides better than you. Stop riding like a lunatic. Have you ridden a horse before, dear Lord? I don't think that horse likes you. You're gonna get your back broke. Don't you know how to ride a horse? <laughs> You're no good to us, crippled, Arthur. Not again, Arthur. Something spook it? That horse got your number, all right. You idiot. What the hell are you playing at? Well, that horse seems to be done with you. No, come on, we're never gonna get there. That horse had enough of you, huh? What are you, goddamn greenhorn? Oh, be best thing I've seen all day. <laughs> Can't wait to tell the others about that. Having trouble? Ooh, that's gotta hurt, partner. Down he goes. <laughs> Who's riding who there, Morgan? Arthur. Oh, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> that horse likes you just about as much as the rest of us. Why is it always you? Some cowboy you are. Ain't you learned to ride yet? My God, how have you survived this long? A horse will kill you if you don't act right. Are you in the dirt again? What is it with you and horses? You Egypt. <laughs> Wait till I tell Dutch about this. Damn idiot tenderfoot. <laughs> Cowpoke can't even ride. Boy, did you two have a disagreement? The <laughs> rancher can't ride. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. Christ, Arthur. Maybe this was a bad idea. Ah, oh, no. Don't make me laugh. My God, can't wait to see you with a fishing rod. Oh, my God. Are you going to fall in the lake, too? Hey, <laughs> you'll be more beat up than Charles. Maybe there is a God. Am I going to have two invalids to deal with? Yeah, you're really showing me how it's done. 
And this is the man we have blowing the safes. <laughs> You're a real natural, Morgan. Are you riding that horse, or is that horse riding you? <laughs> Are you planning on giving me that horse to cook soon? You do that poor beast a disservice. Take care of it, will you? Why don't you just put that out of its misery, Morgan? Damn, that horse looks like buzzard bait. A shame you treat your horse like that. Ugh. Might be time to take old Blue to that horse and put it down. You're damning that poor creature. Damn, Arthur. You take care of that horse about as well as you take care of yourself. Jesus, Arthur, what have you been doing to that horse? Well, look at that poor animal. You should really take better care of it, Arthur. I wouldn't even eat that horse of yours. Look after it. It's despicable the way you treat this animal. That horse, do you hate it so very badly? It looks terrible. I hope you didn't purchase that horse, Mr. Morgan. Money is tight. Don't think this new steed of yours has slipped my attention. Ain't you gonna introduce me to your new horse? Who did you steal that horse off? Where'd your old horse go? A new horse. Somebody's been looking after himself. Try not to run this one half to death, huh, Arthur? Looks like you've been taking good care of that horse. That's a fine-looking animal you've got there. You obviously love that horse. I have a good mind to commandeer that horse for myself. That's looking almost as strong as Baylock now. <laughs> almost. I want some of whatever that horse has been eating. That horse has taken to you. You treat it well. That horse of yours looks like it's been eating better than me. About time you rested up. Might as well rest while you can. Must be nice to sit down when everyone else does the work. Why don't you get up and do something? You're always telling us to. Rest up, Arthur. You need it. Good. We needed some more wood. Watch for splinters. <laughs> A wheelbarrow will be mighty handy, eh? Good. The fire was starting to look low. I'm too little to carry that. Never seem to have enough of that stuff. Ain't nothing worse than running out of firewood. Good work, English. Glad someone else is helping with the firewood. Don't trip there, Arthur. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. Don't want that fire getting too low. Glad someone is seeing fit for chores around here. Too bad Uncle don't help you with that wood. Thank you for helping, son. Good to see someone else working. Logs look heavy. I saw some spiders in the log pile. You're an example to us all. I'll grab the next load once I get a free minute. That greasy-bellied Pearson must appreciate all this firewood. I was about to do that. Doing a good job there, Arthur. For once. <laughs> <laughs> You're making the rest of us look lazy. I'm doing my chores later, I promise. Good, Morgan. I like a good hot fire. Well, we won't go cold tonight, will we? Uh, let me know you want help moving more firewood. Some rare, honest work from Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Thanks for help with the firewood, Arthur. Careful. Knew a man cut his toe clean off chopping wood. That axe looks real sharp. Glad to see somebody working around here. Quite the lumberjack, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> so much anger. Can never have enough firewood, eh? Chop, chop, Uncle Arthur. Get all that anger out. I'm pretty good at chopping wood, too, if you need help. Really putting your back into it. Don't put your back out, old man. Sure do miss chopping wood. <laughs> Dang lumbago. I'll take over splitting duties tomorrow. I won't ask whose head you're picturing. Ah, putting your back into it, dear boy. You sure do know how to brood. All work and no play, hey, Arthur? Keep at it there, Arthur. Careful, you don't chop your foot off. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm stronger, I'll help. That's what I like to see, Mr. Morgan. Yes, you see, we all have our duties. I'll stick to bookkeeping. That's it, cowpoke. Get it all out. Thanks for chopping all that up, Arthur. Yay! More wood! Damn, you sure work hard. 
Chop, chop, Morgan. Huh? It's green, but it'll burn. I used to split a lot of logs until I threw out my back. No nobler profession than felling trees. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. Those trees had it coming, huh? Better you take it out on the log than the rest of us. <laughs> we use that stuff faster than you think. A bit of hard work won't kill us, eh, Arthur? Glad to see someone else chopping wood for a change. You be careful, Arthur. Saw a snake by them logs earlier. Aren't you afraid you'll hurt yourself? Well, I asked Uncle to chop wood earlier, but of course he blamed his back. You show that log, Arthur. Ought to sharpen that axe. Hell of a lot of work chopping wood. Well, at least we'll have a warm fire tonight. A fire's appetite is never filled. Getting to where we can't keep the water barrel filled. Well, thank you for the help, Mr. Morgan. You're such a help round here. You must be thirsty, Uncle Arthur. Can you pour me a bath later, too? Camp can't run without water. You're an example to us all, Arthur Morgan. Thanks for that, Arthur. Hope that water's clean. Last bit gave me the backdoor trots. <laughs> Using quite a bit of water, aren't we? Too bad you can't turn that into wine. Thanks, Arthur. That'll help with washing up later. Lots of thirsty folks in this camp. Well, I'm glad to see you're not above fetching water. Ah, the woman will be delighted with that water. Can you fetch me some, too? Need to wash my feet. Ah, we needed some new water. My bowl was filthy last night. Oh, Driscoll's had me carry water damn near a mile. I would have done that. Ease up on the chores, will you? Making the rest of us look bad. I'm glad someone's fetching water around here. Heavy business carrying water, eh, Arthur? Thanks for pitching in, Arthur. The water here just doesn't taste as good as it does in Austria. You need water for Mama to wash dishes. I feel like half of what we do is carrying water from one place to another. I thought I saw Uncle pissing in that bucket earlier. Think the horses are mine if I take a drink of that? Nobody can say you are lazy, dear boy. Thanks, Arthur. The horses need it. Those horses are starving. Make sure Baylock gets some of that. You're a big help today. Gotta move hay while the sun shines. That hay looks mighty heavy, Arthur. Those horses have bottomless stomachs. No rest for us idiots, eh, Morgan? <laughs> Keep up the good work. Huh. That hay goes in one end and comes out the other. Splendid. A camp runs on its stomach, and that includes the horses. Why are you working so hard around here? Look at this. Farm boy Morgan. Bring them hay and shove them manure. Glamorous life. Horses are a lot of work. Bill said he'd do that. Fat chance. Hunger is the viper that bites the horse's heels. Put one of those near silver dollar, will you? They like apples, too, if you can find any. You're setting a good example there, Mr. Morgan. And you see why I call you cowpoke. <laughs> Horses eat lots. Don't want the horse's belly aching. Thanks for help with the horses. Can never have enough hay. At least that still looks dry. I'd ought to keep them horses from ending up in Pearson's stew pot. <laughs> Their tummies were growling earlier. Y'all ride the hell out of them horses. Getting to where we need supplies for an army. Always the same people doing all the work, isn't it? Such a worker, Morgan. Let me know if you need help with that, Arthur. One of you fellers is working at least. It's like we're feeding an army here. Don't forget, lift with your knees. You're like me, Arthur. Always working. Good work. Hopefully Pearson will stop complaining for five minutes. Go through a lot of food in this camp, huh, Arthur? You ought to get someone to help you carry all that. You should leave that to the youngsters. Saw some mice running around those earlier. <laughs> How come nobody else moves those? Woo! You ain't no acorn calf. You need to relax more. <laughs> <laughs>